F Max 210. It's a great, a great point when I to bring up now that I'm looking at this F Max 210. We talked about it in the beginning of the video or in the beginning of this 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 uh, walk around, you know, finding the right trailer for you. So you definitely want to make sure you do your homework on you know how often you're going to be using the trailer, what kind of mileage you're going to be running to make a good determination on the right trailer for you. So because the last thing you want to do is buy a trailer because it appears from first glance that it's the right one or just because it's what the dealer has it's the right one for you and long term then you're upset or you just don't have a good customer experience because it really truly wasn't the right trailer for the job and so you know f max 210 it's a great trailer for um you know for general hauling around uh, maybe it's the farm or even some you know light repetitive hot shot but ultimately i mean that's a small it's a small margin the 210 is available up to 40 feet because there are areas whether it's farming and stuff where it makes sense for that kind of cubic uh capacity or length capacity but in most case you want to uh, if you're doing a lot of high mileage hot shotting or heavy equipment hauling even though the capacity is there it's kind of like a a 2500 versus a 3500 you've got this job to do and it's hauling fairly heavy loaded all the time from first glance the 2500 sure it'll hook up and do the job and so will the 3500 but in two years time you know the engine in both trucks is great the, which compare the engine to be the main frame and then but the suspension of that truck is going to be far more stressed on a 2500 than it is the 3500 when you're talking about long term ability long term uh, term sustainability over time so make sure when you're looking at it is this the right trailer the right suspension for the job that i need to do that's a it's a big thing it's that whole return on investment you want to make sure you're going to get a long term return on your investment uh, because you will be if you're if you're overusing or using a trailer beyond its means then you will be re uh, replacing and maintenancing items that uh, sooner than you would if you had the correct trailer for the job. So anyways, back to this one. F-Max 210 in, our, in the lime green, it's got hydraulic jacks. Like we saw in that other hydraulic dove, it's actually got the full steel runner with cleats. Uh, pretty sharp trailer, being that it's the really cool lime green color. So the trailer we're looking at right here is an F-Max 212 SS. It is appears to be 40 foot, this one has a lot of good extras on it. It's got air ride, it has a chain rack. This trailer was built looking like it's probably going to a hot shot or somewhere. 212 SS, that is two 12K axles and super single. So it has four super heavy duty wheels and tires on it versus eight duals, which is kind of the standard on 12K axles is duals. On this one, we we're running single tires, which there's pros and cons. You'll hear it both ways. Go post that on a forum and you'll get a hundred different answers as to why people either like duels better than singles or singles singles better than duels. And so uh, a lot of folks, you know, they like to run, have just four tires to worry about, less surface area on the ground to have to worry about, less tires to maintain. But on the flip side, you hear the argument that you have less tires, you know, and less uh, surface area if you were to have an issue with a tire. So it can go either ways, but the SS has become increasingly popular over the years. So this one is an air ride, dual batteries, dual ride well com compressors, or these are Vive Air quarter horse compressors. So air ride is something that, oh man, it, it's been around a long time, but it, the glory about air ride, you have never pulled a gooseneck trailer that's going to pull as smooth as what you have with air ride and in a lot of cases it can get you extra loads if you're a hot shotter out there you know there is an roi or re return on investment when you go air ride and that's because there again there are loads that they that shippers will simply not let you pick up if you're not on air whether it's I don't, it's delicate or or what the case but uh, and then also, again, it's easier on the tow vehicle and on your suspension or on your trailer when you have air ride because everything is just kind of cushed. The bags, uh, you know, and the air springs absorb that energy of the, the brakes in the road and the bumps in the road and the holes and things, um, you know, it absorbs it. So 
in here, like I say, we started out from the beginning, we run dual quarter horse compressors. It's a little quicker bag fill time, but it also you have the redundancy that if you lose a compressor for some reason, you always have a second compressor to where you get to stay running for longer. It gives you, you know, the ability to, to iron out whatever the issue may be. But overall, the little Vivair compressors have been lights out. They're very dependable. Um, there comes with some extra filters in here to replace. You'll want to make sure you keep those replaced. There is a manual dump uh, that comes in the that we put in in line behind the gauge as well as it has a little valve stem so say you were to lose electric or lose compressors for some reason you can actually pull up to an air tank and hit fill up your bags fill up your tanks with the manual uh, manual bag fill so also this one has electric over hydraulic disc brakes um, there's a little battery charger tester standard and it also has a dump or a uh, lift axle valve. So right there we pulled that and now you see that that front tire is going to start creeping, 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 creeping off the ground. The cool thing about the lift axle is running uh, lightly, lightly loaded or empty, you can actually run uh, incur less tolls because you have less axles effectively on the ground and then also if you're running uh, empty or lightly, lightly loaded, you can you know, not have wear and tear on the front axle and front set of tires. Let's see, this one is also just max ramps. What else does this one have? Looks to be, so last but not least, this one down, all, all the way down the passenger side has your four inch slide track all the way down the trailer with ratchets, four inch ratchets. These are for strapping down cargo. Uh, you see them a lot on the big rigs. A lot of people love the four inch ratchets, um, but, and it still has rubber all state pockets, so you can use regular two inch ratchets as well. So it kind of gives you more tie down ability.